Happy Monday, guys. Happy Monday. I finally know what day it is today. <laughs> Happy Music Monday. I'm excited. Um, hey, Cam. Oh, that's a long number there. But I'm excited because today is Music Monday. I haven't done Music Monday in a while. I would say the last person that I talked to was Jason Derillo. Um, so, you know, make sure you go to my YouTube. You can check that out. But today is Music Monday and I'm so happy because I'm able to go live with this lady and she is here. So we're going to introduce her and give her a great introduction. She is an RL powerhouse. Um, so please welcome singer and songwriter Leela James. There she is. Whoa, looking beautiful as always. Hair as always. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Are you driving or are you in the back seat? No, I'm driving in the car, but I'm pulled over. <laughs> okay, I was I was gonna be like, now Leela, I'm not trying to have you crashing in the car. Oh no, 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 no. I'm, I'm pulled over. I'm not. Uh, -uh. okay, <laughs> okay. I'm I'm glad you're safe. Glad you're safe. Must um, <laughs> you must be must be out here working, staying busy. Um, yeah, you know, I have to uh, safely handle things. So, um, I'm um wrapping up the recording right now as we yes. speak. For my yes. new album. I, I love that. I love well let let's let's kind of uh, go into because I, I was gonna go down the line as far as you know uh your new your new album but let's kind of get into that. Um how was that for you uh emotionally recording and working during such a trying time, you know what I mean? It's been challenging. It's been it's mm. been challenging, definitely, um, and definitely emotional. Um, mm. Twenty twenty was heavy for many of us, and I mean, um, twenty nineteen wasn't that light for me either. So, you know, a combination of the two definitely uh, made things um, a little more intense, if you will. But you know, um, I stay prayed up, and um, music is also a form of therapy for so many, myself included. So um, I've kind of just been able to really tap into that aspect of it and just um, let it let it do what it's going to do in terms of easing easing the reality of what we're all dealing with right, during these days, these times. And so I feel good. I feel good about the new project, my album. I think it's some of my best work, and um, I can't wait for it to come out definitely um don't have you and your feelings yeah so let me backtrack just a little bit in case those that are watching this live do not know but you debuted um back in 2000 and now correct me if i'm wrong but this is the information that i got um 2004 five mm -hmm. well because it, it said that you know you um you were working with the roots back then and then you worked with uh on the jamie fox film uh, bait you had a song on there with the roots so uh, was your were you collaborating with the roots before then or kind of like how how did you kind of get started in, with your music journey well I had a deal at that time through um, Rough Nation Records which was formerly Rough House and it was distributed through Warner Brothers and at that time they were uh, Rough Nation Records was um, doing the soundtrack for the movie Bait and so um I did a collaboration with The Roots for that particular soundtrack. And um, that was the beginning in terms of, um, not the beginning of my career, because I had already been working, but it was the beginning of doing um, the project on Warner Brothers that led to my solo album, yes. Right, right, absolutely. So um, as you know, music has evolved, right? And so mm -hmm. one thing that- I love y'all too much. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> hey, hey, higher vibrations. <laughs> um, one thing that I love about you is um, through it all, you've remained true to your style and who you are and um, how you deliver to your audience. Um, so what is that? Was that challenging for you? Because, you know, I noticed some artists, you know, they came out R and B, and now we don't know: are they pop? Are they R and B? Or where, where, where's that at? But you remained in this space where people have constantly tried to say, "Oh, are, there's no R and B." You know, where's that category? 
um right. how how can how do you remain true to you even though things continue to evolve i mean i think as artists it's it's a natural expression to you know evolve I, I mean i would like to think that we all do that you're supposed to grow and um continue to develop your craft and i think that when you start trying to box artists into one category it's stifling and you can't do that um for me i love all kinds of music so you'll you can expect to hear a lot from me um but what you're always going to get is my soul because at the end of the day the voice that's singing over whatever kind of music is is mine and it's always going to be soulful so it doesn't matter if it's rock and roll if it's blues if it's country if it's r&b whatever you, you know it's going to be soulful because i am the soul i'm soul yes it's not i always say it's not even about oh i make soul music yeah, my music is soulful because i'm a soul singer i'm a, i got the soul so it's going to be soul music but i'm i'm just a singer you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> I got what I'm saying, and this is going to be soulful. You're right. I love that. So, uh, was Aretha Franklin sang opera song, and it still made you have goosebumps. Exactly. But I, I love the way, you know, because I, I watched, you know, you in your journey and also on R&B Divas. I did watch that show, just to let you know. <laughs> but um, I, I, I love the fact that no matter like you said, what genre you're singing, I know it's like, okay, there's Lila James. She's giving it and she's giving her. And yes, you know, it's good to change and evolve, but I also think that staying true to who you are is yeah. is mo more important than anything. You know what I mean? But and the core of who you are, you always want to um, be consistent in that. And I, I definitely feel like I've done that because that, that's just what it is terms of you know when you're an artist and you truly believe in um what it is you do do in the being con consistent in that i don't think um that can be denied mm -hmm. it's done right and i feel like i personally have done that you know and i continue to do that because this is this is what it is what you see is the truth mm -hmm. and i bring you that you know what i'm saying and i will never sell my soul to sell soul music now that is what I was looking for. That's the response because, as you know, you know in the music industry they all well. When I say they, the the talk is it'll change you, you know, and sometimes not for the better, not for the good, or you're 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 constantly changing to try to appease, and then you end up forgetting who you are. So that's kind of where I was meaning by you've you've remained the same you you haven't allowed the industry to change you and change what you're going to deliver no not at all i mean the industry the industry is going to be what it's going to be but i'm also going to be who i'm going to be and that's probably why my journey has been what it has been because i'm not going to allow the energy the industry or anyone to flip me inside out you know what i mean mm -hmm. don't get me the way that my mom and my daddy made me <laughs> want me to be, you know. Now tell me, uh, the speaking of your journey and how mama and daddy made you, how would you describe you as how, how would you describe you as Leela and James, mama and daddy style? Well, I'm talking to you in my dad go car. How about that? <laughs> I'm talking to you in my car, t-shirt on, running errands like everybody else. I ain't got no frills and grills all around trying to make it look like it ain't what it is it is you know this is it this is you always gonna get the real from me you know i can't control what everybody else do but for me i could say i stay grounded because none of this crap you can't take nothing with you so i don't get caught up in the you know the glitz and glamour things i mean i you know i, I always want to make sure you know i'm i'm being respectful and and and, and, and but i don't get caught up into that diva whatever that crap is you know what i mean like some days i'm not gonna feel like uh wearing makeup so y'all gonna get that too mm -hmm. i don't mm -hmm. have it on all the time because that's not real life real life is moments like this i got to go to the doggone store and start off this thing y'all i got errands to run i got planes catch i got sand on i got austin i got <laughs> but, <laughs> 
but you get what I'm saying. I think, you know, my yeah. parents raised me to be grounded and not to get um, caught up in the, um, the foolishness because I think sometimes people can get lost into, you know, what they think materialism, materialistic things and what is considered success and, and, and they forget where they came from. And, I, you know, that ain't never been me because I know that as quick as something can be on, it can be turned right back off. Them switch lights go up and down. Mm-hmm. No, I love that. I, please keep that. I hear it all the time. So, you know, I love my fans, and I think my fans love me. So I always want to make sure that y'all know that I'm just like y'all. We, Y'all my family. And mm-hmm. I do what I do for my people. You know what I mean? I do this for y'all. I love music. I love singing. And it make me feel good, but it make me feel even better when y'all support it and y'all telling me, oh, you got me through something because that's what you've given these gifts for. You know, if I could just help one person, then that's, that's I've done my job. So mm-hmm. if, if my song or my, my career or whatever, my music makes me feel good and, 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 and y'all continually like feel like I'm I'm going to ride with her, then I'm going to keep riding. I'm mm-hmm. keep because y'all want to ride. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Well, let's go and talk about complicated because, um, like you said, it, it, love is complicated. I mean, the world is complicated right now. But with this um, new release and this new music that you have, what are you trying to evoke from your fans? What do you want? What message do you want your fans to take from this album? Well, this album, you definitely gonna like I said, it's in your feelings, and I. The um tap it's I tapped into a lot of my vulnerable sides, the vulnerability of our people. Um, the single is self-explanatory um, in that you know I was exploring just the complications of relationships, and not just you know um, romantic relationships, but we you know we pulled from the movie Baby Boy in making the video, and mm-hmm. it, I because if you really watched in, watched the movie, there were so many um, dynamics mm-hmm. within that movie. The, the, you know, the relationship between the mother and the son, the mother, the black mother, single black mother, single black boy, you know, South Central, that's where I'm from. Um, the relationship between the two friends, you know, one trying to get out the street, but still torn, you know what I mean? He wants to, you know... <laughs> Then you got the complicated baby mama, baby daddy drama. It was so much going on, and that's so real. And so all I'm just saying, sometimes things are complicated and and maybe sometimes also out of our control, but then there are some times when things are absolutely in our control, and we as humans make it more complicated than what they actually have to be. Yes, yes. So, But don't make things unnecessarily complicated. Sometimes it's better to so through complications, whether it be life, love, you know, your music journey, how do you, how do you get, give some advice to those of how, like, let, let me ask you first, how do you deal with those complications? What do you do? I mean, I know you said pray, but what's some other ways? Well, I think as I get older, uh, I'm learning to turn the switches off. I just ignore a lot of stuff. I don't give things energy that when I recognize what it is, like, you know, me, if I, if I see that that's a, a, a spirit of, uh, of, of, of negativity coming my way, just, you know, searching for a reaction, I just mm-hmm. ignore it. And I go, to, I go down the other way. So, um, you just, you just don't give them nothing. Sometimes mm. them nothing is giving them everything that they need. Mm. Mm. Can you say that one more time? Sometimes giving folks nothing is giving them everything that they need. I'm not playing with you. I just got chills. Cause yes, and yes, and yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. Okay, so if that's the type of chills you bring into the album, yeah, like yeah, yes, please keep it coming, keep it coming. Um, one thing I w- was very interested in, I saw all of your influences uh you know well i i didn't i didn't realize like tony braxton was an influence for you and you know some of the names so who is someone that you would like to collab with on maybe future projects i mean there's few i mean um there's a lot of 
new artists that I think are doing some really amazing work. I mean, obviously, Anthony Pack and uh, Bruno Mars, her, like, they're so talented. These kids is killing it. I love it. Um, um, from the legendary, you know, crates, however, I would love to hopefully get in and um, do something with Stevie Wonder. We spoke um, during the pandemic um, earlier on, and hopefully we can get something done. You know, he's such a legend. Um, if we can dig up the doggone grave or bring Prince back to life, I would love to have him <laughs> with Prince, but, you know, that's wishful thinking. But, yeah, there's so many talented, amazing artists, um, you know, both new and old that I just love. And, you know, ever given the opportunity to work with certain ones, I'm always open. I never say, you know, no. Um, I'm definitely not one of those artists that think they too good to collab. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's some that think they too good to even talk and speak. Well, so I, <laughs> I don't know nothing about talking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so one last thing, I don't know if you have time for, cause I, and I'm going to make it quick and I'm going to make it short, but, um, like you cards, they're you black a, all. But if I get a ticket, I'm going to be like, listen, baby. No, look, got... I, it's gonna, it, it'll be like two questions, two more questions. <laughs> I got you. It's a little fun game. It just helps with like, it creates a fun space for vulnerability. It's called like you cards. And so they're a black business owner. So I want to play the game with you, Leela, today for Music Monday. And basically it just is asking fun questions. So I'm gonna let you pick which ones you want. And so you just tell me when to stop. I stop in the middle. There you go. Right, right here? That's fine, either one. Okay. New song, what do you pay attention to first? The words or music? In a new song? Um, I'm, I love melodies. So I pay attention to the melody and um, I, 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 I love, yeah, the melody. The melody. Um, like, mm -hmm. when, sometimes um, for me, I think that grabs me and then it's like, what they talking about now? <laughs> and, and I write that way too. Like I lay my melodies down first and I go back in and fill in the blanks. But mm. I'm, I'm on melodies. Okay. Okay. Um, second question. Here it is. Um, if you could trade lives with one person, who would you trade with? If I could what? Trade lives. Trade lives. Oh, wow. With one person. Hmm. That's a, that's a real rough one. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I would trade life with Harriet Tubman, but it would be under the only condition that I could come right back. <laughs> oh, okay. I just. I just want to, I just, give me just a couple of days, you know. Why, why her? Why her? Mm-hmm. self -explain. I mean, because she accomplished so much mm. um, under some circumstances um, that were just really inhumane. And I, I find myself often, you know, reflecting on the things that we're dealing with right now in these times as Black people, comparing it to what, was going on during her time and how brave she had to have been physically, mentally, and how strong she was to take a leap of faith and to say and, and decide, I'm just I'm leaving. I don't know where the hell I'm going, but I'm not staying here. And we I'm going up north. And and if you've ever been in the south, I live down south myself, and you and driving through certain areas and you just look out in the woods and you're like, who could even really survive a few hours at night in the woods, let alone several weeks trying to get up north, coming right. from the south. Right. And she did that several times under, again, inhumane circumstances. You know, she you had people coming for you. You you know, it ain't like, you know, we all, well, I got a gun, but, you know, she might have had one gun up against mm. all folk. And it's, then you trying to bring your people with you and, and you know, keep you know, save yourself, save your people. It was just a lot. So I just would love to see what that felt like at that that time. And then come on back, cause yeah, yeah, cause yeah. 
<laughs> right, right. No, I was just watching, um, and I don't know if you saw the movie, the uh, United States versus Billie Holiday. Yeah. And it was so heavy because I thought about, well, damn, all this woman is trying to do is share her talents and for a damn song. Right. They, have, they are uprooting her life, her money, her... I mean, they're villainizing her. You would think she killed somebody. You know what I mean? But, and that's just how, that's how sickening racism is. Mm -hmm. and how uh, much of a disease it really is. And it still exists. And we're yeah. still, it manifests itself in so many, there's so many variants of racism right now. And, you know, um, it, it, nothing is new under the sun. You know, she, what, what Billie Holiday went through, what so many of um, black artists went through, what so many black people and so many artists um, right. go through, you know, that don't, don't, um, you know, just do as they say you should do. Right. So that had to be, a, um, especially for that time, had to be very, very difficult. Um, and again, so for me, when I think about our ancestors and, and you know, using Bailey Holiday, I would imagine what, a day would in their life in their shoes would feel like just for a day just how heavy because it feels heavy today but i mean that might have felt like extra bricks back then because mm. the freedom that we take for granted today they couldn't even have imagined can you know back then can you you know think of your ancestors um that were enslaved uh, uh, being free they didn't know what the idea of freedom was i mean we walk around we go we go to the store we do what we want they couldn't do that right they didn't own no you know, just the things that we have that our people fought so hard for us to have that some of us take for granted, those things were like unheard of. You know, my mm -hmm. grandparents never thought that there would be a black president, let alone a, a female vice black president at that. And things that, so I think that it's just important to keep all those things in mind. Like when we take in our current lives for granted, just remember from whence we came from and mm -hmm. not just your immediate family, just think of your people, you know, your people that literally fought, bled and died for you, you know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I totally get that. I, you know, don't want to keep you any longer because you're in the car and I don't want you to get pulled over, speaking of oh, harassing. I'm pulled, over. <laughs> I'm pulled over, they can't do nothing, and my hands up, I wish they would. <laughs> No, but let let's uh before you know I let you go, um talk about the album. Let people know. I mean, if they haven't already, you know, got their music, where can they get it from? You know, just just go on and promote right. you. Okay, so the the single complicated is out now. So if you don't have that, definitely download, stream that. Um, the video for that is out. So download, get all that, you know what I mean? Support that. Hit up all the radio stations. Make sure they play it. Cause, you know, they be sleeping sometimes. We got to you know, send alarm clocks. But uh, hit everybody up, the, the Apple Music, the Spotify's, all, all them folks. And y'all just go off with it. Support your girl. The album is coming in a, um, another month or two, uh, if maybe sooner. And be on the lookout for that. And when the album drops, Y'all go extra hard for your girl. You know, go get it. Tell your mama then. Don't buy one. Don't downstream one. Just keep downstreaming. Just downstream. Down, 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 down. Downstream, downstream, okay? <laughs> I love it. All right, Leela. It was such a pleasure talking to you. Best of luck to you. You deserve it all. You understand? I thank you. I thank you. I appreciate y'all. Of course. And thank you for talking to me today. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. You too. Be safe. All, All right. right. Thank you. Okay. Bye.